All right, uh, sorry about the noise floor on this one. You know, all that buzzing in the background, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Congratulations, last folder. No wrong side. Dog's happy about it too, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Only thing standing between you and the end of the year is the rest of this folder and the final exam. So, uh, you're doing Strawfish Lab, and I'm gonna show you some options for doing this, uh, being able to draw some straws at home. So, best option really is, if I pan down to my very messy desk here, uh, a baggie full of straws. You'll notice I have these ones, I cut them up into little pieces, and there are yellow straws, and there are blue straws. How fun. It works better in an opaque bag, but basically you just, you know, do a little shaky shaky, close your eyes, feel around in there, I got two. So we got a yellow and a yellow, so that'd be a yellow fish. Do it again, shaky shaky, close your eyes, draw it again. Yellow, yellow, that is also a yellow fish. Notice I'm not putting them back into the baggie. Right, close your eyes, pick again. What do we got? Oh, that time's a blue fish, see blue and blue. If you were to get a blue and a yellow, see that's, that's, that's just, just, just go with me, there's a little yellow line on there. Then that would be a green fish, because unlike uh, our normal Mendelian traits, these ones are, are weird and... Baby, you messed up the, the blanket back there. It looks a mess. Unlike, <laughs> unlike our Mendelian traits, where they're either dominant or recessive, this one is what we actually call incomplete dominant, so there's blending. And you'll notice on our, on our chart, right, the yellow fish is two yellow straws. A blue fish, you have to draw two blue straws. And if you draw one of each, you're actually going to get a green fish. You know, because that's what happens when blue and yellow mix. So you'll do that until you've exhausted the bag. Then you'll count up your fish. See how many survive. The survivors go back into the bag for redrawing. But I don't have a bag. No worries. You can cut up your straws. Just lay them out on your desk. And as long as you have like a designated, you know, out of the bag pile and in the bag pile, you're good to go. But I don't have no yellow straws. Don't worry about it. As long as you have like a couple straws that are the same as each other and they're all the same size, you, you can make it work. Well, you never eat fast food. You never get, get like a drink with your order. You never have any straws. Okay, don't worry. If you don't have any straws, then you just take like a piece of paper. You know, your, your paper can write blue and yellow. You're going to cut out like 40 pieces of paper. So fold two pieces of paper in half five times, cutty cutty so they're all the same. Write blue on 20 of them, write yellow on 20 of them. And then you'll fold them in half or just put them face down, you know, so you can't see. And then again, back to my very messy desk. Bloop. You close your eyes. You mixy mixy. You grab two. What do we got? One. Two, fantastic. I open them up. Blue, blue, that's one blue fish. Yay, I put them aside. And then I, I mean, yeah, this is not 40 pieces of paper, but you could make 40 pieces of paper. And then you just keep on doing that. No, you can't. No, you can't just flip a coin or use this like two pieces of paper over and over. The whole point here is we need to be removing genes from the gene pool when we're doing reproduction. You'll see why when you go through, because you're going to be modeling what happens generation after generation to these uh, fish that you're making based on what the predators prefer. So you should see some interesting data. And of course, we're going to graph it.